Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the question number 2. In question number 2 students, at 298 Kelvin, 0.01 molar formic acid solution is 1.2% dissociated. We have to calculate the dissociation constant of formic acid. So what is given students here 0.01 molar that is the concentration is given. Small c we are representing and here students and solution is dissociated that means formic acid is dissociated 1.2%. Understanding students, a percent dissociation is given. We have to calculate the dissociation constant. Dissociation constant that is because it is acid, so we have to calculate Ka. Okay, students, dissociation constant we are showing with K. Since it is formic acid, so we are showing with Ka. If it is base, we will show with Kb. Understanding students, now what is given students? First, we should write concentration 0.01 molar. What else is given students? Percent dissociation. Percent dissociation percent dissociation is given it is given 1.2 okay students now you have to find the degree of dissociation degree degree of dissociation degree of dissociation students we are showing with alpha this is the symbol of degree of dissociation which is nothing but percent dissociation you have to divide this percent dissociation by 100 okay students now here it is given 1.2 percent dissociation you have to divide with 100 so what happens means this you can also write 1.2 100 will come in numerator it will becomes 10 is to minus 2 understanding students so now you know students concentration and now you are knowing alpha that is degree of dissociation so you know the relation between these three quantities that is since you are knowing the formula students the dissociation constant of acid here formic acid is equal to concentration into alpha square this is the formula you have to just put the value concentration students that is 0 0.01 and alpha square that is 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 2 to whole square okay students 0 0.01 your right as it is now 1.2 to whole square will be 1.44 now this will become 10 raised to minus 4 understanding students here it we have to multiply so it becomes 10 raised to minus now what happens students this is nothing but 10 raised to 0 0.01 is nothing but 10 raised to minus 2 10 raised to minus 2 into 10 raised to minus 4, it will become 10 raised to minus 6. Understanding mm -hmm. students, 10 raised to minus 6. Now 1.44 will be as it is. So this way students, we have calculated the dissociation constant of formic acid. Understanding students, this is very important for two marks questions students in board examination they are asking. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.